This conference will now be recorded. Hi, welcome to this session. And uh, today's session is actually based on how to see the cloud exam result because I'm getting too much uh, message uh, in my WhatsApp that uh, after exam, how we can see that the exam result. So that's why I thought, uh, can I make it a video for you guys so that it will be helpful for you and you have to do this activity before the exam. So let's begin with, uh, as you know, my name is Ahmed. I'm database consultant as well as instructor. I had cleared many certifications and these are my certifications. <clears throat> and uh, first thing is that if you want to uh, give the exam, so first you have to create the Oracle account. And uh, second, this is the link by that you can create the account. So when you click on this link, this page uh, will come. So in that you will, uh, so if you see page, so in that you have to put your email address, password, new password. So your email address is your username, then uh, your country, your name, your job title, your work phone, your company name, your address, and your city, your code, and your zip code or postal code. And after that, you hit the tab. So it will create your Oracle account. And uh, after that, when you do this, so you will get a mail for uh, uh, verify the account. So here, uh, this mail name is mentioned. So when you open your mail, then you have to verify that mail. So after verify, you will get this message on your Oracle uh, page where you, where you created your account and uh, that shows success. So it means your account is ready. So for exam, first uh, Oracle account is required. Then for giving the exam, it required Pearson account. So this is the link. If you click on this link, so you will get the page of creating the account and that uh, when you press the tab of creating an account, so this page will come. Where this is important thing, if you are first timer for Oracle exam, so you will choose no, <coughs> okay? And if you are, second timer or you are already given, then no need to create this account because you have already. This is for those who has not any Pearson account uh, for Oracle. So in this section, you will put no because you are the new. And after account creation, you will get Oracle testing ID and that will be uh, for lifelong till uh, you, you, you are, you, or give, uh, you will give uh, exam, okay? And after that, your this form, simple naming, and then uh, email, and then confirm email. So when you hit uh, to next, uh, it will actually uh, do the next page. And in that page, you will get this one. So here you will type the address city and everything. And when you fill this form and do the next, then you will get uh, this page. Are you employer of OPN network or a partner network? So you can say yes or no, according to your company criteria. And uh, after that, you will get another page uh, where you will give the username. Here you, uh, this is not your mail ID. So you have to give your username like according to your name, surname, date of birth, whatever you can choose and you check availability. And after that password, then these three security questions 
uh, which require when suppose you forget the password, so it will be used for recovery purpose. Uh, so that's why when you are giving this security question, note it down. And when you do next, then you will say you have successfully created a web profile. Okay. So after that, uh, you will go to left side of uh, this dashboard. So here you will get uh, this when you scroll down. So you will get testing ID and about testing ID, your name will be there. And this is your dashboard. This is your sign out. So this testing ID is very important uh, for for exam as well as exam result. So now your Pearson account uh, done. After that, this is the important step: a cert view authentication means your certification authentication. So this is the link which I posted here. If you click this link, so this will go to this page here you click to log in to search view and when you click this will give you new url so just click the first url so when you click the first url you will get the page in that page you have to provide your oracle testing id uh, which you get after pearson and your email id which you mention in in pearson account so always remember that uh, prefer method is oracle user id uh, because it takes mail ID, right? So your Oracle user ID and your email address of Pearson should be same. So you will not get confused. So after these uh, two things, when you authenticate the button, so it will give you this page. So your account profile will be ready here. You will get all the information again. And in the left side, uh, if you see uh, uh, this, this, here you will get the latest result when you will give. So this is the way this cert view authentication complete. And after that, all things done, and uh, you can appear for exam. And also the important thing, when you create Pearson account, so after one hour, you can authenticate. Okay, before one hour, don't do this otherwise it it has only three attempt after that your case will transfer to customer care and they will update manually okay so after one hour you create a uh, uh, person uh, uh, authenticate the things in in certain view okay so best of luck keep shining keep learning keep sharing and that's it from my side and these are my contact link uh, where you can contact me for any online training and you can also register for my daily webinar uh, where uh, I'm doing free of cost at uh, night, sometime 11, sometime 10 p.m., sometime 10.30. And so that's it. Thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, you can mail me, emma at the rate for com, And this is my blog uh oraclewrite.com and uh, i have started recently my youtube channel uh, uh, uh last week so this is my youtube channel and here almost uh, this is my fifth video related to oracle cloud exam so you can visit on my page and you can check all the things uh, which is important for cloud exam as well as technology uh, 19 c new feature virtual machine creation and oracle installation data architecture changes and oracle database processor so these are the things uh, which i have done from last uh, 10 days so thank you